Mon intervention va s'articuler. My presentation will be articulated around the following four points. Le rôle de la société civile the notion of abuse, the notion of civil society internationally and domestically, and the perspectives for a structured and effective civil society. Kofi Annan said in 1998 that proper governance was probably the most important factor in eradicating poverty and reaching and obtaining development. Inclusive governance requires multiple stakeholders looking for solutions to social, economic and environmental problems which affect their societies and the planet as a whole. The Sustainable Development Goals with a deadline is 2030. There are 169 targets and almost 230 monitoring indicators and these form the core of the new global agenda. The fundamental principle of these SDGs is to leave no one behind in its implementation and monitoring. And this is based on recommendations of uh, organizations in civil society that demand from their leaders that they elevate the needs of the poorest those who are marginalized, those who are lesser favored, and that they become a priority of sustainable development. There is a commitment of all players, of all countries, to implement the totality of this agenda. And each country is invited to report each year on its progress. Civil society plays an important part in the development of a country, civil society can serve to counterbalance the government and the economic sector, the involvement of civil society and social dialogue is a key element in proper governance that is essential to reach these sustainable development goals. Here in Senegal, the CONGAD, the Congress of NGOs has facilitated a platform of those who are committed in structuring their actions to various topics uh, related to uh, the SDGs through a working group which was set up to help to put these SDGs in common, to promote and monitor progress in the various sectors, to evaluate the constraints and formulate proposals to improve approaches, strategy, politics and program. The objectives further strengthen the work of civil society through missions of dialogue, mobilization of citizen, whistleblowing, monitoring, and awareness raising. These sustainable development objectives, goals have become a project for society as a whole. Civil society must change the rules in favor of sustainable development. The Organizations of civil society are essential in raising awareness and therefore uh, in internalizing principles of adaptation, flexibility, innovation through their action in the field itself. And I would like to refer to the principles of adaptation and flexibility and innovation. The International Forum of National NGO Platforms provides technical expertise and support for national platforms such as Kongan and other regional uh, uh, regional coalitions such as the NGOs of West Africa who are member of members of the same network in order to help them to improve uh, their involvement in the 2030 agenda for sustainable development the most striking example is the involvement of civil society 
in the voluntary national reviews, which paves the way uh, for civil society to produce an alternative and constructive report. The first experience shows clearly that it is urgent for the international community to plan and to provide the necessary resources for a global coordinate approach, coordinated approach of development and to strengthen the capacities of civil society in order to overcome the challenges in the implementation of the Agenda for 2030. Civil society and its organization will need to develop and strengthen their capacity in the field where they were perhaps not engaged before. These activities could include, for instance, a gathering and analyzing data about uh, the monitoring or cooperation with the private sector, within the framework of partnerships with the various stakeholders. The organizations of civil society will need to improve their partnership strategies and develop their capacity to innovate in order to ensure successful implementation. The development of capacities will also be crucial in promoting uh, the programs in the Agenda of 2030, and organizations will need to focus more on strengthening practical local skills and less on overall overarching theories and the development initiatives will need to factor in existing capacity We'll need to identify local knowledge and mobilize it. The organizations of civil society need not only to acquire new skills, but also to create systems that uh, allow them to manage the difficulties connected to multiple stakeholders and the management of problems of transparency and efficiency. The leadership and training will need to be strengthened in order to reinforce the efficiency of civil society organizations in connection with the Istanbul principle voted in 2010 in those planning and monitoring activities. The improvement to access of access to information and competent experts will be a, a decisive factor for the success of these programs. Cooperation between organizations in civil society has become increasingly more important uh, because the civil society organizations must find new ways to set up partnerships and exchange best practices. And finally, and in conclusion, I would like to say that the SDGs will help to even better structure the action of civil society organizations. And this opens a number of uh, prospects. One, strengthening of uh, a peace through the working group of civil society, the development of international mechanisms, regional and national mechanisms to ensure monitoring of the implementation of the SDGs, through the production of annual reports. Three, a strengthening of the capacities of civil society organizations in uh, implementing and monitoring the SDGs. And four, a strengthening of collaboration with the various stakeholders. Many thanks.